All right, welcome everyone to our April 20th um, teaching and learning call. And um, today we're going to actually have a guest. Inga is going to be demonstrating Xerti for us. So that should be really interesting. And I'm sure you guys will have lots of questions for her. But before we get started, um, the Etherpad link is in the chat. If you've not already gone to that link and signed in, please do. And we'll start off with just a couple of announcements. Um, big news in Sakai land, Sakai 22 was released last week. So those of you who are waiting anxiously for the 22.0 release, it's out. Um, and uh, you can go to that link for the release notes to see a little bit more about um, the details of what is actually in that release. But as part of it, uh, the new conversations tool is in that release. So that's a big deal. It's a brand new tool. Um, and uh, there's uh, some other nice updates in other areas of the um, system. So please check it out when you get a chance. And you can preview all of that on nightly if you want to see it in action before you actually upgrade. Um, second announcement is uh, SakaiCon this summer. You want to Mark your calendars for July 19th and 20th. We will be having a, a primarily online program, but there's also going to be kind of a meetup in Ann Arbor, Michigan, for those that are interested in getting back together face to face. So we're keeping the program primarily online, um, just in case you know something happens pandemic-wise or other, and <laughs> people are unable to travel for whatever reason. We want to shift the sessions around, but um, it, the Ann Arbor watch party is going to be um, kind of convening there at University of Michigan with Dr. Chuck. So if you're interested in, in going to Michigan, um, there will be more information on that very soon. Um, we'll be opening up registration pretty soon, too. So there'll be more to come on that as soon as we have registration open. Um, all right, so that's it for me for announcements. Does anybody else have any announcements that they'd like to add? Okay, well, without further ado, then I'm going to hand it off to Inge for the Xerti demo. And Inge, I'm going to give you a um, presenter so that you can screen share. Yeah, and I will just share my webcam for a moment so you can all see me. <laughs> Hi. Um, <Hey>. And con <laughs> congratulations with your a new release. I know from experience that it's always a lot of work to uh, to do that and have uh, the last minute things fixed and bugs and that kind of thing. So congratulations. Um, I can share my screen, I see. Um, This one. Do you see my screen now? Yes. And I unshare myself. I have enough place. Okay. So, as I said uh, before, I'm going to tell you a bit about Xerti, but I don't know it's uh, from uh, many names in this group. So, I don't know if you uh, know what Xerti is and what it can do. Uh, can you please add in the chat if you know Xerti? Just yes or no. Okay. As I can see, it's a lot of uh, people that don't know Xerti. So I'm going to tell a bit more about what it is and what it can do then. Um, sorry for the people that already know it. Um, so what I, I'm going to do is, uh, I think I have a half an hour. Uh, I'm going to show a bit what set Xerti is, and uh, I show some examples of what you can make with it. Um, and then um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use it in uh, Sakai. Uh, since yesterday we have it uh, running that you can add the, uh, the Xertis that you create and add them in Sakai and use them together with Sakai. And um, why should you do that? Uh, Xerti is a, a content authoring tool, and there are a lot of content authoring tools. Um, and uh, but Xerti is an open source uh, 
content authoring tool. It's also a member of the Aperio Foundation. And as you see on this uh, image, it's made by uh, Julia Forsyth in, uh, on the Aperio conference in 2015 already. Um, here are some, some information about what it is. And what the most important things uh, are is that you um, it is a learning management system independent authoring tool. So if you create modules uh, with Certi, you can add them in Sakai, but also in uh, Moodle, in Canvas, in Blackboard, in um, every learning environment um, uh, that you have. But you can also use them just as a link or um, on your website. Uh, it's, uh, it's independent of any um, learning management system or other tool so that's really um, a good thing because uh, for example uh, here in the netherlands we have schools or a group of schools that uh, belong together and then one of the schools have uh, for example sakai as an lms and another school has um, uh, canvas as an lms and they both can use the same materials and also when your school decide to go from canvas to sakai for example, then you don't have to make to create all your content again. So that's one of the big pluses of Xerti. Um, you can create a lot of um, modules uh, with a lot of media in it, video, images, audio. Um, I, I will show you some examples, then you can see how media rich it is. And um, uh, another thing is that it's uh, really tested on accessibility. So everything we add in Xerti is tested and sometimes we also find bugs, but um, it's really a good tool to use for people with uh, uh, not so good um, sight, for example, they can use uh, a screen reader to go to, uh, through the modules. Just, so that's one of our um, action points every time when we have a new release, is it uh, accessible enough? And the last thing that is really a good thing from Xerti is that you can um, share and reuse it. I don't know how that is, for example, in the States at the moment, but here in the Netherlands, there is, for example, a group of schools and they uh, all create materials in Xerti, but then also reuse it from each other. So uh, school A makes a module about uh, or a course about um, uh, tree farming and school B makes a module about a nursery and um, it's very easy to give each other the modules and um, change it a bit so that's okay for your school in your colors maybe with your text that you want and uh, reuse it um, and that's a really nice exciting project what's here going on in the Netherlands and in uh, Belgium and with Surti. Um, so that is a bit about Xerti. If you have any questions, please add them in the chat, then I can uh, answer them during my story. So um, I show you some examples, then you have a better idea what it can do. For example, um, it, they are in Dutch, so <laughs> I, I can't uh, trans translate it, but it's more that you get a hang of it, what, what it can do. For example, you can create uh, mini websites uh, with it. So this is a small mini website with all kinds of content in it about creating animations. Uh, you can add videos, you can add um, text, images, animations, audio, podcasts in this mini website. This is not interactive, uh, not interactive uh, yet. This is only text. So this is only making a, a small website and uh, sending information. So this is one of the examples that you can create uh, with it. Another example, this is a more interactive one, is this one. This is about making an activities uh, schedule, how you do that. Um, so for example, I go to uh, have my goals and make them smart. Then I get a, what, some information, but um, uh, so, and that information can be presented in different ways. There are 75 different pages in Xerti that you can use uh, in this way. Uh, but you can also have um, video with um, 
on the, the right side, you get a question. Uh, so the video stops at one point and then you have a question. So this is all more interactive and get the student more active uh, with the video. Uh, the video is stopped now. I have to give an answer and then um, I have to give the right answer. No idea what the, the right answer is. And then uh, I can uh, go on. So these are, um, you have the choice from uh, 75 different pages, as I said, but also a lot of interactivities in it, like quizzes, uh, hotspots, uh, hotspots, interactive video, um, just uh, yeah, model answers uh, with uh, feedback. Um, so these are a different kind of type of um, um, content you can create. Um, then the, the other one I showed, that was a mini website. This we call a mini module uh, where you can add uh, a lot of information in. So uh, if I go to another um, example that you can do, that is uh, this is just one page uh, in the 30 toolkit. And this is the um, 360 media page. And uh, the nice thing of this page is that I can walk through it. So I can um, yeah, look where do I want to go or, or I want to look at this. Um, this is a video or an, yeah, a video about uh, the castle from the air uh, from a drone. Uh, but I can also go uh, here, for example, and see some information about this building. And here you see a lock and I can I have to answer this question before I can go on. And that question I can find somewhere here in this uh, image. So this is a 360 image uh, or an, um, an image made with a 360 image camera. camera. But um, you can also use your phone to make a panorama uh, image. And you can also add that here in this page. So you don't have to uh, buy um, an expensive camera. You can also do it with your mobile. Um, another uh, example is this one. Uh, this is the interactive video. And these are all pages that are in Xerti and you can use. For example, uh, in this case, um, let me out the audio because you don't hear it. Um, this is a video about baking uh, an apple uh, cherry cake. And um, during this video, I get all kinds of um, interactivities. For example, uh, now it stops. I can click on the icon and there is a question. It's a question about something that I've seen before. So um, let me see. Okay, uh, wrong. Uh, but I can, I can go on and I can go to the next uh, action point. And in this case, I can I get a video how I can um, I don't know what it's called, schiller an apple, <laughs> uh, to get away the red skin of the apple <laughs> with a knife. And uh, that you can do that in another way as well. So this is the interactive video. And you can use videos from YouTube, Vimeo, uh, Peertube, um, all kinds of uh, video platforms. Um, let me see. Uh, another example is what you can do um, is the, this one is also a nice one. You can create uh, escape rooms with it. So next to that, you can create the mini websites with information for your students or your other teachers uh, or make mini modules with interactivities like quizzes to explain a subject. Um, you can also do a lot of fun things. Uh, like the escape room, that's really a fun thing which you can do make very easily in Xerti. Um, in this case, uh, this is an es escape room, so you don't know what to do, and you you don't have a clue, and you have to click around and see what's uh, what's happening. So uh, I get this message, or I can click here on the uh, then the the light is go off. It's a bit dark here. Image is so dark that I can't see this <laughs> the switch, um, and then I have to find out what to do, and I can do this in my on my own. But you can also use this, for example, when you use uh, Teams, 
and do this with your student groups and say, okay, you have half an hour, try to get out of this, uh, uh, this escape room. And in this case, I know I have to go here um, and here I have to do some other things um, in this escape room. So if you have questions, please uh, let me know. Huh? Um, another example is, um, for example, this one. Uh, this is an, um, uh, a commercial company that uses 30. And uh, this example is that you can see that you can do a lot with also the look and feel. Uh, they did a lot on this, uh, but it, it looks totally different than the things that I've shown you before. So they have their own look and feel in 30. Um, but still uses the 75 pages that uh, you can use to make interactivities. Um, so these are a few examples. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, is, it, is this uh, a bit clear what 30 can do? You have a, a bit of an idea of what it, what it is. Yes, uh, Chandrika, that's very <laughs> exciting. And I have to tell you that when I start creating them, um, it's uh, I, my, I always uh, work in the nights because I can't stop. Uh, does this need to be on a server or is it an online tool we can use? It is a, a, a software as a server solution. So it uh, needs to be on a server. Uh, and it, then it's also accessible for your uh, other teachers or students. Yes, thank you, Josh, for adding the the link and the the uh, the 30 release notes. Yes, thank you. Um, so, how does it work? Let's see, um, this is an, uh, a a 30 uh, installation on a server, and this is created for uh, a Perio. And um, here I have an example module. Uh, it is in uh, in Dutch, but I created this. Um, and um, these are my modules and the folders with my modules in it. Here is information about that, that module. And to the left, I can choose what I'm going to make. So these are the interactive uh, modules, the mini modules with all the 75 pages in it. And these are the uh, mini websites. But you can combine those two. So you can make a mini website and add also interactivity to it. So that's also. Uh, possible. So how how does it work? I'm, how I'm going to create a, a module. Now in this uh, case I already have one Then I click here on this edit button and this is how I'm going to build it. So this is my module. It has four pages in this case. Now say for example I wanted to add a title page because I don't have that. I will show you what it's now. Um, so this is the module uh, I showed you. Uh, I want to add a title page. I can add here uh, a text. Uh, I go to the text category. There are several categories. For example, the interactivities. And these are all the interactivities you can add. That's a lot. Um, so, but now I want to add um, a title page. So I say uh, before. Uh, I say, and it's my title page. I'm going to add a um, background image in, to it. You see, sample um, this one. And I, I'm going to show you what I made. So I made this title page, and it's very easy to add. Um, images or video or uh, things. Josh had a question. Inge, how would you suggest that an individual get started with creating learning content in Xerti? Um, there are several modules and uh, information uh, how to do that. Uh, um, unfortunately, I only have Dutch courses to, um, to get started, uh, but there is a lot of uh, information on the Xerti uh, community page. Uh, that is, uh, and also examples. Uh, 
Um, here you can find a lot of examples. Um, so this is a bit how you create it and um, uh, how you can create modules and, and work in it. Uh, there's a lot more that I can tell and I can um, uh, uh, have can give a lot of courses uh, to make nice modules and for for example the uh, escape room um, then you need to have some experience with uh, 30 you can't make that when you are a beginner but a simple module with a quiz and a video and uh, some text and images is really easy to create can 30 modules be exported in a format uh, that other users outside the school can view or modify it. Uh, yes, you can send the link. Uh, you can also create SCORM um, files of SCORM packages from it, and you can use uh, LTI. And for the example that I now have in um, Sakai, I use the LTI link. So I will show you how we do that. Um, I have this uh, module. Um, then I go here to that, that um, information about this module and here I have several export possibilities and here are also the export uh, to SCORM uh, possibilities. It's also possible to have an offline zip, then you don't need um, internet at all uh, and you can um, yeah, use the module. Um, but in this case, I'm going to create a module for Sakai. Then I go to LTI X API. The only thing I need to do is um, on the, those uh, checkboxes, uh, put this on full name and email address because when I want uh, the results of this module, want, I want that, uh, to see. Uh, I want to see who is the student, and then I click on update, and then I get a link here below. Two links. Uh, some uh, learning uh, management systems use LTI 1.1 and some, uh, some, sometimes they have 1.3 and Sakai has 1.3. So the only thing I have to do is copy this link. Uh, to share this with others um, in another way, uh, just the link, I only have to go to access, say it's public, um, save the changes and if I go here then This is the link I can send to anyone and they can use it. Then it's, then it's public. Um, let me see the questions now. Can set the module be exported in a format? I've already answered. Is there a 30 sandbox that TNL members can use to explore the platform? Yes, we have a, um, uh, a Dutch um, uh, sandpit that you can use. And I will add my um, the link to my uh, website. Then you can... Um, uh, ask for an uh, account on that uh, playground. So um, this is uh, everything I do now in Zerti. Now I go to Sakai. I'm already in. Let me see if it's still oh, yeah, open. Okay. Um, I'm totally new at Sakai, so I just tried some things and I saw that I can add things on lessons and I can add things on assignments and um, on both places you can add the uh, this links this link for, for example on lessons I go to uh, add content then I go to add external tool then I go to Xerti I copy the link in or paste the link in uh, some text. This is the title. And I click on save. And as you can see, I now have the link in Sakai. And when I click on it, and um, I have to, have to wait a bit, I don't know why, but um, then the module I just uh, created a link of is in Sakai. And I can do the same with assignments. It's a, it's a bit different. Um, so let me see. Here I have, I have to go to assignments. Add. Some text and then here, uh, let me see.
We did it one time now, so. I think it's the submission type you're looking for. Oh, this one, yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah, external tool. Thank you. <laughs> and then the, um, I think I have to, where do I have to paste the link? I think if you click that select external tool. Yes, that's all. that go. was it. And then Zurity, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, some text. This was a uh, test Zurity two. If and now I can post it. Maximum points. Say hundred. So yeah, and now you see this is the the module. Um, if I now go to uh, the student view to see what the student is seeing, uh, then I go submit as a student. Uh, go to the external tool. I don't know how you use your Sakai, so uh, maybe I do it totally wrong, but it's just to uh, show you how easy it is to uh, to work those with those two together. So this is uh, uh, the the module. In this case, there are no uh, interactivities in it, but um, I did the module and I click on the save button. So um, now, uh, as a student, I uh, delivered this um, this module. Um, I already prepared something so that you can see what uh, what the student can do. So I have here. See where it is. was somewhere I was logged in as a student here. So um, I'm a student in this group. Um, log in. Um, then I think I have to go to uh, announcement or what is it, work site? Where can I find my uh, my assignments? Um, you have to go into the course up there. At the oh top. yeah, thank you. And then I can go to the lessons. And here is a module. Um, it's at assignments, I think. Yeah, with interactivities in it. So again, I go to the external tool. And this is all in Dutch. I'm sorry. But there are some interactivities in this uh, module. This is a module about uh, digital footprint. Um, this is something you can do, but it's not scored. It's just more for information. This is a, a quiz with some easy uh, questions. We do that so you can see the results. Um, here I can add some text and it's not quite uh, installed properly because on the next page uh, here should be all the answers of the different uh, uh, students that give an answer um, but that's also possible now, I, I, I have um, finished this uh, module so I click on the uh, save button I saved the session and now it's uh, saved. Um, so this is what the student uh, can see at the moment. If I go now to uh, what the teacher can see, uh, there's also a dashboard connected to this module. So I, when I go there, And this is also um, connected with uh, an LTI link in uh, in Sakai. So I have a dashboard about this module. So you see, yesterday I started with uh, the preparation, um, and I uh, there are three students now that uh, did this module. Uh, one completed session. Um, 
the average is 40.7 and the average uh, uh, for completion. So that means that they did the whole module. That's not if they did it right or wrong. And then the average score is a uh, 1.7. So that's not very good on the score of 10. Um, and here you see, let me see here, I can add the names and the addresses. You see demo six, that was the, the student I just had. Um, he didn't complete it. Uh, I didn't finish the whole module. So my completion was 22%. My score was 8% of this module. And these were the, were the answers. And you see that this page, I did give the right answer, but um, the red ones is I didn't give a uh, right answer. It was wrong. And the gray ones I didn't do at all. But you see uh, student demo five, he did uh, the whole module. He complete, completed it 100%. Uh, he didn't uh, pass, but I can also see, uh, I can zoom in on all the results that he did in this module. So I can also see all the answers he gave um, in this module. So as a teacher, you also have an overview about um, what the students are, uh, are doing. So this is in um, a very short uh, introduction in uh, what Zurich can do together with uh, Sakai and how easy it is to, um, yeah, to, to let them work together. Uh, let me see, are there more questions? Um, I ask BC, there's so much to learn here. Uh, in Dutch, uh, you mean. <laughs> um, can Zerti models be exported in a format? Yeah, I already answered that. Sandbox, yes. Uh, Dutch is beautiful, it's really cool. Wow, sick, very cool. Okay. <laughs> um, do you have questions or something else that you want to see? Um, I think that uh, that dashboard was really impressive. Um, in lessons, you said that there's a second link. Is that added? Automatically, when you add a module, it puts the data. No, you have. In there. No, you have to add it by hand, and I yeah, I now uh, uh, put it here because I don't know if it's the right place. Uh, but you can imagine that you don't want you uh, that you do want that the students see their own dashboard or that they. Uh, uh, that the dashboard is only for the teacher. So there are much more possibilities uh, with the dashboard and Xerti. Uh, but this one is uh, per module, so not per course. So if you have 10, ten uh, modules, then you have to click uh, on each time on the dashboard to see what they did in that module. Um, but you can add that also with a link uh, in the lessons or wherever you want in Sakai. Where in Zerti would you get the dashboard link to, to add? Um, yeah, you have to know uh, uh, you have to know what to add in the link, and then you get the the. Uh, can I see the link here? When I uh, can I get to the link? Do you know that, Vilma? I think if you edit, you might be able to see it. Depends on how it was edit. added. Okay. Uh, edit is here. Yeah. Yesterday I was searching for it, but I couldn't find a link. Yeah, try it on change external. We'll see if that will show the original. Yeah, I guess not. No. This takes you back through the. Yeah. But um, it's a link. Uh, it's the XAPI link that I showed you uh, when we, uh, when I added this one, the LTI XAPI, it's this link, but uh, you need to tweak it a bit. Uh, and that way, uh, that, yeah, there's something you need to know. And then that link you can paste somewhere in Sakai. Okay, do you have instructions somewhere? for? Because I didn't know about the dashboard. Dashboard is awesome. <laughs> so um, I, I would know how to tweak it. So if it's documented somewhere, that would be really good. No, but I can send you the information uh, how you can do that. And um, you have access to the uh, Aperio 30, don't you? Um, or, or or Kenny, someone? Um, at, uh, I, I, I can get into the Sakai instance that we put up for you, but I don't know if I have yeah. an account on the Xerti instance. I have to I, I, a colleague of you have to, have to, has an account. 
and then you you can you can do it yourself and try it out. Yeah, I'll have to try that. Uh, Inge, how would you compare Xerti to H5P? What are some of the differences and similarities? Uh, both are an uh, um, uh, content creator tool. Um, uh, Xerti is uh, completely open source. H5P is uh, free, but from a commercial company. Um, if you want, for example, to use their XAPI and LTI things, uh, then you need to have a commercial account. Um, so that's that's one of the differences. Um, H5P is uh, you can use uh, H5P uh, from Moodle or from another learning LMS, but it's not standalone like um, Xerti is. Um, and I don't uh, know exactly, but um, uh, Xerti has more uh, possibilities uh, to do things with adaptive learning. Um, the dashboarding, uh, some other pages that are not there. H5P is sometimes looking better uh, and easier uh, to create a uh, really nice looking uh, uh, image page, for example. Uh, Stephanie asks, are there capabilities for mini quizzes to link to the gradebook. Oh, uh, that I forgot to tell uh, you. If you use the LTI link, then if uh, the Sakai instance is um, uh, configured in the right way, automatically the results of the module, of the whole module, uh, will be in the gradebook. But it's only passed or failed. Um, I don't know what your gradebook in Sakai is, um, uh, is showing. Um, but then uh, uh, what you can do is you, if you have a module of 10 pages with one quiz on the end that you want to grade, um, then you say all the other pages, don't. Um, uh, we don't track them. We only track the last page. And then um, you get the results of that quiz uh, in your gradebook. Both are made by amazing European devs. Love this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So tracking the results of the quiz at 100 points will be returned to the gradebook. Yes, so if you as a student do the quiz and you have uh, everything right, then uh, you um, you get the the score of 100% uh, of passed or I don't know how it's called in your gradebook. Um, and it's I think it's also possible to say when it's passed or not. For example, we have organizations that use Canis clips with videos in Xerti, uh, and they say they have to look at it for 80% uh, of the video, and then it's passed. But if they make a quiz uh, or some other interactivities, then, for example, 55% uh, 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 right is also passed. Uh, but you can, um, yeah, you can. Uh, say for yourself or as the developer can say what uh, is the amount that you have to get. Thanks Inge. Is there the ability to have people collaborate in Xerity? Yeah, and that's very easy Stephanie. Um, for example, I have this module. Um, mm. Then I go to the information about that module. And then I have a lot of tabs here. And one of the tabs is shared settings. And I can choose, for example, I don't know if it's um, Josh is in there, I think. Yeah. So um, this is Josh. Um, when I say add user, now it's um, shared with your, Josh. And Josh can also work in it. If I only want to um, let him read, then I can say, oh, read only. Now he can see the module in his Xerti, but um, he can't do anything. Uh, or I, I can say he's editor, then he can change the content. Uh, or he is co-author, and then he can do everything except throwing the module away. But he can also copy it and make LTI links um, that you can't do as an editor. So these are uh, different ways that you can share it. And you can also share it with more people. And you can work together on the module, but not on the same time.
uh, mobile friendliness. Um, there are a lot of pages that are that are very mobile friendly, but there are some pages that uh, a bit difficult on the on the phone. Um, and then I'm thinking about the, the uh, some of the hotspot uh, pages that are not that good on the phone. But what we mostly uh, do is create. You can create sub templates so that you don't see all the pages, and then we pick all uh, the, only the pages that are looking good on a mobile phone. So the teacher only uses, or the developer only uses, the pages that are uh, looking good on the mobile phone. Yeah, and if we have talk about sharing, and um, uh, you can share it, I can give my project to someone else, then I make a copy of it. So then there are two of uh, the same module, uh, but they're not connected anymore. But I can also do, for example, the peer review. And here I can send a link to someone else um, that uh, don't have access to Xerti at all. And they can also see the module and give uh, feedback on it and that's this is very um, uh, good when you are developing uh, the modules and the um, we have um, the 30 uh, the period conference in June I'm going to work on this more so I'm going to make a, a nice um, example uh, about how it's working in Sakai with English uh, text, but also how it's working together with other Aperio tools. Uh, like, um, uh, it's already working with Sugi, um, but there are more tools that can use uh, this, Equella, for example. Um, are you able to see across modules to figure out if modules haven't been used in a while. Um, what we do in the Netherlands, but that's not everywhere, what we do is we provide our users every month um, an overview of all the modules and uh, where you can see what uh, if there are um, developers or teachers that create very big modules, for example, because they use two big images. Uh, or they add video in it um, uh, instead of using Vimeo or YouTube. Um, but you also can see when it's uh, looked at the last time, how uh, often it, it's uh, used, uh, all kinds of information. Um, and that's uh, sent to the admins of that Xerti installation, and they um, uh, use that in their uh, organization and for one um, organization we created a sort of a script where after three years they're sent a question to the user hey this this learning object is not used um, in the last three years do you still want it then they can click on yes uh, or they say uh, no um, uh, and then it will be uh, deleted. And uh, most of the time they don't answer. Eh? You, you know how that goes. It's in your email and then you forget it. So after a month they get uh, an, again this, this question and uh, after three months again, and then the fourth month it's uh, thrown away. Uh, are there any gamification features in the tool? Games that encourage competition in learning. Also, is there a place that we can see a complete list of tools Xerti offers? Um, I have a, a link to a module where um, where you can see the 75 different pages, but it's not everything that um, Xerti is offering. You see, it's this one. Oh. Put it in the chat. And I will put my Dutch example also in the chat. Uh, it is in Dutch, but my, uh, you can look at the pictures and the, for, the examples are uh, uh, interesting. Um, and any game, gamification features, uh, there is uh, there's not something like uh, that you can compete to another student and that there is a timer or that you can score points. Um, but uh, what you can do is create the, um, the, the modules or the content that you can use 
in gamification uh, tools. Uh, what you can do, for example, what I said is in teams, uh, two groups, uh, both get the escape room and you have to, to finish it in half an hour. Um, that kind of things. And you can build it in because you can use um, uh, uh, JavaScript and you can use uh, CSS and HTML in it. So I created an escape room, for example, where you get points um, less uh, every time you, the, you ask for a hint, for example. So you can build it in, but it's not there um, uh, that you can use it and add it uh, and it's already uh, there. It would be fun to have some sort of hands-on Xerti workshop at Open Imperio, creating some content with coaching. Yeah, that's uh, that's okay. Uh, we did that um, some years ago um, when it was in uh, when we had the face-to-face -face conference. We always did the basics Xerti um, um, uh, session, so we can do this uh, also. That's uh, nice to do. Uh, Okay. If I'm bringing the worst my day back to the, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm also in the group, but it's better that you bring it and then that I do it. <laughs> Does the Xeta community share samples of templates uh, or of starter modules? Yeah, we have we have some things on the uh, on the website, but I have to say we don't do a very good job on that thing. So we have created a documentation uh, team, and but we just started, and we are going to create uh, a lot of materials. But the first thing we are now doing is making a uh, a manual or a wiki page where you can find all the information about the different things that are in Xerti. So. Um, and I have a lot of Dutch things, but you don't, uh, it's not useful for you. Are there any other questions? Because I've, that my time is full, I think. Very nice, all these questions and that you are so uh, excited. Well, you've got a lot of people saying thanks in the chat there, and I definitely would have to echo that. This was a great presentation, and thank you for showing us um, all the cool things that Zerte can do. I think there's a lot of people itching to get their hands on it now. <laughs> yeah, and I, so, I, need, uh, I need your help uh, uh, for uh, to make the Sakai uh, up and running and make it uh, with the Zerte uh, examples in it, so yeah, we can have right. we can do a good demonstration on the. Um, a period conference. Great. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, so we have used up most of the time today. I don't think we don't we don't really have time to dig into JIRAs at this point. Um, so does anybody else have any questions for Inky while we have her? Thank you. It was nice to do. <laughs> yeah, it looks like you're just getting applause. You're not getting yeah, yeah, yeah. At this I'm, point, but yeah. my cheeks are <laughs> coloring red. Right. <laughs> yeah, they've already peppered you with questions, so yeah. um, so hopefully we'll um, we'll have some hands-on opportunities at Open Aperio and at other times um, that we can kind of um, get people in there and playing around with it. Um, and again, thank you, Inge, for uh, for demonstrating yeah. for us today, and uh, look forward I to. I promised a link to my website where you can uh, get access to the playground. Uh, so I will look it up and paste it in the chat. Great. Awesome. At this moment. <laughs> Great. So, um, yeah, so I guess we'll end a little bit early this week. Um, but uh, just a quick heads up that our next meeting will be May 4th. And we're going to have a demo from EDF. They're going to show us um, the progress on this Kai Meetings tool. So um, if you haven't seen that, they've made a lot of great progress on um, Meetings, which has the Teams, Microsoft Teams integration. So if you're a Teams 
school, you might be interested in that. Um, we do have plans to add Zoom and Big Blue Button and potentially other um, virtual meeting providers um, after um, the Teams integration. So the, those are coming, but they're still not completed. Um, but the, the Teams integration is is done. So um, so that should be pretty cool if you're interested in that. Um, come check it out on May 4th. So, um, and I see you guys put the link there. I'll, I'll copy that into our your pad notes. All right, so thanks everybody for joining us. Um, have a great rest of your week and hopefully we'll see you next time um, for a meetings tool demo. Thanks.